Welcome, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Jason. Um, you might have noticed already that I, I sound very good, I, but I look a little hurro. Um, it's, how's this? Late, late last year, I totally got engaged to a lady. Like, I'm pretty impressed with that. You guys are not so impressed, but I, I'm pretty... I like, I know her. You don't know her. If you knew her, you'd love it. So uh, I, I did the right thing, right? Here's what I did. I, w I went and asked the dad if, if, I can, if I can marry his daughter, right? Which I think was a, is a nice kind of traditional thing to do. The problem is that he's, he's, a, he's a farmer just outside of Adelaide, right? So he knows how to use a shotgun and uh, knows where good shallow graves can be made. So... <laughs> And so he's, he's like a full-on farmer guy, and I'm like, uh, oh, da, 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 right? So it's, a, I, it's always a bit nervous. Like, we're this odd relationship where I say, hi, Mr. Griggs, nice to see you again. And he hears, oh, how much for your daughter? Right? So it's always... It's nerve-wracking, right? So I, uh, the, the first time, the first time uh, you know, I, I actually went to, a, to, to ask for his daughter in marriage. I, I drove out to the farm. I, I just bought a ring when I was overseas, and I came back, and I, I was talking to him, and finally I said... Uh, you know, I, I, uh, I bought a ring recently and um, I'd, I'd like to ask for your, your daughter's hand in marriage. And, and he, he didn't say yes, right? He said, hmm, it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> what the hell does that mean, right? Here's what I think it means. I think one day he, she, my, my, my fiance is going to call her dad in tears and 20 minutes later, <laughs> now it's a problem, right? <laughs> I, I thought about what I kind of want to be as a dad, right? And I, uh, I, I think I want to kind of be like my dad. Because my dad, even though he, he, he came from another country and he struggled, he always tried really hard, right? So, like, like when, I was, when I was little, I really liked the Transformers. You guys into Transformers? Yeah, how good are they, right? If you've seen the movies recently, like, they're awesome. They're, the special effects look wicked. Like, I was literally sitting in the movie theater. I was like, boing, boing, boing. like, I was pretty excited. But I wasn't doing that. I was like, <laughs> like that, right? <laughs> And then a little cassette flew out. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> but I really like Transformers ever since I was like a little kid, like back in the day when, when they were cartoons. My favorite is a guy called Bumblebee. Now, if you've, if you've seen the cartoons, uh, if you've seen the movies, uh, Bumblebee, he's a Camaro. But back in the day, he was a Volkswagen, a Volkswagen Beetle, right? And I identified with him because he was just like me, right? He was always the smallest in his group and I was the smallest in my group. So we were both getting picked on just for being little, right? And yellow, obviously. Um, <laughs> and so... <laughs> a bit slow at the back. Um, and so <laughs> so on, on my sixth birthday, my, my, my mum came into the kitchen and she said, Jason, there's a phone call for you. And I was like, awesome. And I went to the phone and I went, hello, this is Jason speaking. And the voice from the other end of the line went, hello, Jason. He's a bumblebee. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> but I was only six and I totally bought it. And I was like, oh, bumblebee, is that really you? And the voice goes, <laughs> I'm sorry, Jason, I stuff it up. <laughs> Please don't tell your mother. But I was only six and I totally let it slip and uh, she had him deported. Uh, 